Hey guys, welcome back and hello to all my new subscribers. Just surpassed 100 today, so definitely pleased about that. I'm actually working on Kingdoms of Gaming Part 10, working on the throne room and dining hall. But since that needs a little bit more of extra work, for today I'm going to be showing you how to build this dwarven style chapel, which I previewed in one of my last videos. Right guys, so I'm going to try to go through this tutorial as fast as I can. We have the chapel for reference and I will be skipping all the boring bits. So I want to start off by copying out this layout. We have 13 blocks in length along the sides, following a pattern of stone and cobblestone. And then we have this um, central piece, which is 5 by 7. So once you've copied this out, we're going to add a, a floor of jungle wood, and also add in this red wool cross down the middle. So you should have something that looks like this. We also want to add the entrance by following this pattern. And then we're going to go ahead and raise the entire platform until we reach a height of 4 blocks. So to be sure you have that right, you should have stone bricks on all of the corners. And what we're going to do now is we're going to lower the front pillars and add stairs instead. And then we're going to go around the entire building by adding stairs all around the top edge except when we reach this corner we're not going to join them up like this we're going to remove the corner piece so once again you should only have a corner block of stairs along the front and not along the back and what I've done to save time is I've added the cobblestone fence which will go alongside the stone bricks except along the front. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add the front porch which is going to follow a triangular shape. So just copy what I'm doing and we're going to bring this up until we meet the center. And then we're going to grab three uh, stone brick slabs and just join it up like so. So just before moving on to the roof we're going to finish off the porch by adding the obvious wooden door, fill in the gap with cobblestone and we're going to add an inner archway. Also fill in these gaps and leave space for a redstone lamp. Now to be able to switch on this redstone lamp we need to go back to our stone brick stairs and just add it in the middle. And that leaves space for a lever. We're also going to have stone slabs for the roof and we're going to come alongside this triangular shape and then we're going to fill in the entire uh, gap of the roof until we reach this corner. So you can do that now. So your roof should join up nicely with the rest of the building. So now we're going to go ahead and add in our graveyard. So extend another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks of cobblestone fence. Create a nice little pattern effect. And then come along the top with stone slabs. So note you have to replace this block with a full block of cobblestone. And also we're going to bring that fence all the way along until it meets up with this point following the same pattern. So you can go ahead and do that now. So once you've done that your fence should join up like this and you can finish off your graveyard by adding some gravel paths, adding in this fence gate which I think is quite nifty. Um, you can add some grass and some trees because I think that's quite important and also some stone slabs for tombstones and um, you can add in this open coffin with a chest and you can add a skeleton skull just for fun. Then we're going to move on to the most important part of the church which would be where the altar would go. And we're just going to come along the top along this outline with the same blocks as we use the roof. And then we're going to go to either corner with stone bricks bring up a pillar and then create a basic square using the pillars as, an, as a guideline. And once you created that square, we're going to raise 
the entire platform um, four blocks in height. So we're almost to the finishing stage, so let's finish off the roof. And um, we're going to do this by following this pattern. We're going to go 2, 1, 1, and then do the same again, 1, and 2. Just like that. And then go along the top with stairs. And then we're going to repeat that process right along the top, except for the middle. We're going to add a little bit of extra detail and use stone bricks instead. So you can replace this section with stone bricks. Until you have something that looks like this. And don't forget to go along the top with your half slabs. Just like that. And we can go ahead and cut out a section for the cross replace that with oak wood because obviously the wall is kind of plain so that makes it look a lot nicer and you can pretty much do that on the other side as well now to add some finishing touches obviously we need to add some windows and I really screwed up with this because I was supposed to leave gaps for windows, but I placed the cobblestone fence. So just cut out where you want the windows to go. So you should be doing this. And then we can replace the full blocks with glass. And also add some decoration with grass blocks. Following trap doors along the sides. And then you can pretty much add in some grass or maybe even a flower pot with a tree. Well, that looks kind of weird. So let's just do that. And then you can go ahead and do that on this side and on the other side. Right guys, so that's the initial building complete. I think it looks rather neat. On the other design, I overdid it with flower pots and other detailing. But this one looks quite neat, quite nifty. And would fit in quite nicely in any medieval city or village. So just before we go, we're going to go straight ahead into the church. And that is not supposed to be there. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips on the interior. So first thing you want to do is add in the lever I talked about. And the best way to cover this up is to grab some stone stairs. Come along the top of this. Then go with upside down stairs. And we're going to add just a corner on either side of this. And also here. A bit tricky. There we go. And then fill in the gaps with um, stone slabs. And I found this to be the best way to cover it up. And also have a little bit of extra detail. And we're going to use um, oak wood slabs. And bring it along here. We're going to add some decoration with flower pots. So we'll just add three flower pots and some of this fern. So that looks nice. And we can add some um, benches. And something really important you want to know about this is to finish the final touch on the benches, we're going to grab our fence gate, place it in the middle and we're going to open it this way. And I think this is the best detailing you can get for the benches. So another important thing would be the altar. I have two options for this. You can either add some full blocks, pressure plate and some torches on either side for the altar. Or you can add what I added in my last building which would be a preaching stand. And that can be done by adding stairs, stairs again, and then just one upside down. So you should get this shape. Then add your pressure plate, and there's your preaching stand. I pretty much like this design. It works really well. So um, other than that, I don't know what else you could do. You can pretty much do whatever you want. It's up to you. 
I added some um, stairs along this edge just for decoration and you could possibly add in a second floor by covering this up with half slabs and maybe adding the ladder along here maybe you can have an area with a bed and where the priest could live right guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you were able to follow the tutorial easily if not let me know leave a comment below please like subscribe check out my channel and um, I'll see you next time possibly for Kingdoms of Greymane part 10 so um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time